Welcome to Mark Reed 757, my weight loss journey, and I'm coming at you. Uh, let's see here. We're, today I'm going to talk about setting goals, short-term and long-term goals. You know, it's uh, I, I always had them in my head, but I never really wrote them down. I uh, not only wrote them down now, but I'm going to be including them in my description. Uh, my description is getting bigger and bigger at all times, but it's another way for me to look back and see how I've been doing. Uh, anyway, with my short-term goals, I, I was thinking about these and trying to figure out what I really wanted to do to, because I believe the best kind of goals for me to have are routine goals, uh, you know, how to help your routine, because obviously your routine, your daily routine has a lot to do with what your results will be. And your daily routine can hurt you or it can help you depending how you have built your daily routine. And here's my short-term goals. Uh, continue to improve each day by sticking to my routine and add to it as I see necessary. Uh, you know, that's a big one. I really want to be able to add to my routine and, you know, make little fine adjustments that I need to because obviously the more I do, the more I'll be able to do. And if I'm able to do more, I want to be able to add more. So I'm never going to get stuck with just one routine. Uh, it's just not happening. I mean, yeah, there'll be a routine temporarily, but there will be minor adjustments to improve uh, the routine as it goes along. I'd like to add a day of swimming to my workout routine by June. I really want to do this. I've been wanting to go back to swimming. I did swimming before, lost a good amount of weight. Granted, I'm losing a good amount of weight with what I'm doing now, but I figured instead of just saying, hey, I have to have one or the other, why not have both? So I want to add swimming to my workout routine. Currently, I'm just going to the gym and I'm disc golfing once in a while. Uh, that brings me to my other one. I want to start disc golfing at least three times a week, not and by June. I want to be doing three times a week by June. Granted, when it gets colder and rainy, I really don't want to go and don't feel the need to go. I, I just don't enjoy it, and I feel as though if I don't enjoy it, then I don't need to go. Um, I'll have to figure out what else I can do once it hits those winter months, but I'll cross that bridge when I get here. This is my short-term goal. Spend more time with meal planning on Sundays and expand it to have a meal for the whole week, not just Monday through Friday. Because, I, you know, I just did Monday through Friday this time, and I still haven't, I've been thinking about what I want to do. Easter's coming up. It's really hard to figure out what I want to eat and how much because I, I don't want to overdo it, obviously, because I've worked real hard to get to where I'm at. Now, with the long-term goals, here's another one. Work out two hours every morning. I want to go from, I do approximately about 45 minutes to an hour, sometimes slightly longer, but I want to start making it two hours. I want to get to the gym around 5.30, start working out then, maybe start swimming at, uh, let's see, 5.30, be around 6.30, 6.45, somewhere around there, and swim till about, I don't know, 7, 7.30 or so, and then get my shower and go to work. Uh, let's see, swim four days a week with, with my other work, workout routine by October. That's another long-term goal. Um, obviously, I want to just get to the one one day a week by June, and I should be able to do that. It's it's obtainable. There's a time limit. And then uh, the, the long-term goal will be four days a week. I want to do it Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. I like to keep Wednesday open for whatever I want to add to it. Uh, continue with my meal planning and tweak it as needed and still be doing this by the end of the year. That's that's a real big goal of mine. I really want that to be my goal. Uh, another one is to get my kids to eat healthier by the end of the year. This is going to be very difficult because this isn't something I can completely control because I do have their, um, I work alongside with their mother and we're divorced so you know, it's it's not just my say so. It's got to be her too. And granted, she wants them to eat healthy, but I'm sure if any of you have kids, you know how difficult it can be if you didn't previously instill that in them from the beginning. And I unfortunately did not, and now it's very, very, very difficult. Uh, I do. 
I do not put a weight number on my goals. You know, uh, you might have got here, this is for weight loss, but I, the way I feel, if I put a weight number, you know, if I say, hey, I want to lose 50 pounds in a month, okay, I could lose 50 pounds in a month. Yes, I'm that heavy that 50 pounds is very doable. In fact, I'm close to, let's see, I did 30, 30, 30 about 20 or so pounds in three weeks. Granted, another month I'd have to lose 30 pounds. Which, But anyway, you get what I'm saying. If, if you put a number like 50 pounds or 20 pounds or even if it's 15 pounds, say, hey, I'm going to lose 15 pounds in a month and you don't do it. Well, then you're you're going to be very very discouraged, and you're just not going to really care. You're like, hey, look, I worked really really hard and I didn't get to it. When in fact your body's changing more than just you know. Obviously, you you're thinking of losing weight as in fat terms, but weight is your body's so different. There's water, there's muscle, there's fat, there's all kinds of contributing factors. It's different times of the day. I mean, I weigh myself all the time, and it doesn't drive me nuts because. I, it just proves to me that the body is so crazy. It, it just, it gains weight, it loses weight, it gains weight, it loses weight. You you drink a glass of water, you're gaining. You you pee it out, you're losing. You know, it's it's just, it's it's awesome. I mean, if but if you look, if you look at like a line chart, when you, if you weighed yourself at every hour and, and the line would go, up down up down down up up down down up down up down and it would gradually see a line going down well then you know that's the happy medium and you're going in the right direction and if it's going up then you know you're going in the wrong direction well that's why i don't put a weight number because i feel as though the goals i'm working on is geared towards my routine more so than just a weight number because the weight number is something you you can kind of control but you really can't but if you attack your routine and you do it every day religiously and then you you make the necessary adjustments to add in what you need to or subtract what you need to the weight will come off and I know this after years and years of trying and attempting and failing see I know what works I just got to prove it and that's what these videos are for uh, sorry, this is getting a little long. I was, I just was touching on some points. If you made it this far, congratulations. I do want to have a shout out to Gaining Ashley. She has been tremendous in her channel and really uh, helping me with my channel. And this is a whole YouTube community. I'm, I'm going to start adding shout outs at the end of my videos all the time. And this YouTube community is wonderful. And I appreciate everything she does. And I'm Pretty sure she appreciates everything I do as well. Um, I would like to end this with one question. What are some of your goals? Comment down below. And thanks for watching. And have a great day, night, weekend. And Easter's coming up.